Happy Halloween, everyone. It is me, Timotheus. And we are having a Halloween Royal Rumble Men's Edition. Now, let's get this match underway. Bring our first contestants out here, right here, right now. And the suspense is killing me. Who is it going to be? It's Springtrap coming out at number one. <laughs> My goodness. Came out from Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. And he is here. Entering at number one in this Royal Rumble. My goodness. Who else will come out in this Royal Rumble if we see the likes of Springtrap? Who else could we see? I don't know. But I am excited. I am just as excited as you guys might be to see who comes out next. So, uh, a lot of these will be some surprises for sure. All of them surprises to me, in fact. And... Can't wait to find out who's going to come out next at number two. All right, here we go. Suspense killing me once again. Who's going to be number two? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Jason Voorhees coming straight from, well, the grave. He is here. He uh, slipped out of... <laughs> Tommy Jarvis's house real quick and he has come to enter this war rumble right now so uh, let's get this thing started we're gonna start things out with spring trap and Jason Voorhees alrighty let's get this rumble underway here we go okay, the bell has been rung Jason Picking him up for a full Nelson slam. He's coming off the ropes and he's going to hit him with a big splash. This is literally what the move's called. And he's going to, okay, he's grabbing him, picking him up for a backbreaker. And another backbreaker and he's going to toss him to the side. My goodness, he's picking him up by the skull and going to hit him with a punch to the face. That was a discus punch, by the way. At number three, it's Daryl Dixon. My goodness, Jason's got spring trap in the corner. Is is Daryl gonna help Jason, or he's just probably gonna bite his time and wait to strike one of them? Oh, spring trap still in it, and oh, he's gonna roll him up into a drop kick to the chest. Uh, anyway, could have broke his sternum there, and okay. Uh, Jason broke that up because he wants a piece of sp spring trap. And he's going to hit him with a backbreaker. And oh, who's coming out next at number four? It's Frankenstein's monster. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Monster of all monsters, as he would claim it. As it says on the LEDs out there. Or it said. Now it says Royal Rumble. But oh, teardrop suplex. And a snapmare. My goodness. What a series of moves. And what a. STO, but but Daryl's back up, but Frankenstein's monster is, well, he, he's resilient as ever. Now he's got spring trap, he's gonna toss him to the side, and a neck breaker by Daryl Dixon. Spring trap come back up to throw him, oh wait, wait, wait a minute, number five is Tommy Jarvis. Oh, and he's all grown up now. Jason was far too... He was gone too long because Jason grew uh, uh, Tommy Jarvis grew up to get revenge on Jason here. Okay. So this is a bit of a craziness. Let's say Tommy Jarvis went back in time. Oh my goodness, and Springtrap was just eliminated. Tommy Jar Jarvis either went back in time or, hear me out, <laughs> they both went into the future. But number six is La Llorona. Uh, hide your kids. She's coming for them. That's that's pretty much all. And and, and, and and mind you, this is a female in the All Men's Royal Rumble. Clap for her. Clap for her. Clap for her. <laughs> uh, man. 
She's trying to take out all these dudes. And out goes Daryl Dixon just eliminated Jason. That's that's crazy. Um, oh, and down goes La Llorona. All right, Frankenstein's monster. She's trying to break the neck of Tommy Jarvis. But here comes Freddy Krueger at number seven. Daryl Dixon wasting no time. And he hits him with an elbow. And he's going to hit him with a moonsault. Daryl Dixon now going back to La Llorona. And going to toss her into the corner. But that's not going to work. Because Daryl is in trouble. Daryl is in the sights of the Frankenstein's monster. And Tommy Jarvis is going to try to eliminate La Llorona. And coming out next at number 8. It's Ghostface. Which one you decide? Who is your favorite ghost face? Put it down in the comments below. Mine's Stu Mocker. But you put down yours, okay? Anyway, nonetheless, and what a Frankensteiner to Tommy Jarvis. Oh my goodness. And oh, what a choke slam to ghost face. And he's got him up for a. Oh man, my goodness, what a Uranagi. And he's got him up for a power slam. Jeez Louise. I know Freddy was working on La Llorona, but Tommy Jarvis has Freddy. But number nine coming out is Michael Myers. My, and Daryl was just eliminated. But Michael Myers going straight after La Llorona. She is a devastating uh, character, but a dangerous individual. But all of them in this match are. So, Bowie's got him up for a claw slam, my goodness. Oh, and a neck breaker to Frankenstein's monster by Freddy Krueger. And what a heel kick to the face of Freddy. La Llorona gonna hit him with a Russian leg sweep. And number 10, it's Chucky from Child's Play. Chucky is here. My goodness. Chucky going straight after Tommy Jarvis. But Tommy Jarvis is going to throw him into the corner. And I... Oh! Michael Myers got caught in the crossfire. But Michael Myers is going to make him pay for that with a German suplex. My goodness. Now he's got him up for a guard buster to the face. And oh, what a backbreaker. Oh! He smashes his head in the corner. There's a lot of ma There's a lot of action going on. Pretty, pretty tough to commentate. But oh, number 11. It's Gandhi! From the Supernatural episode that Gandhi is in. <laughs> That's what, but, okay, yes. He, he slipped out of Dean Winchester and Sam Winchester's hands, and he somehow made it into the Royal Rumble. But here we go, Snake Eyes. And uh, we missed it that Tommy Jarvis got eliminated. You hate to see it. Can't win them all. My goodness. And now Ghostface hanging on for dear life. But he is still in this. And what a face crusher right there. Oh my goodness. He's going to pick him up for... Oh! Bust his face open. Uh, and he's got Gandhi up. Oh, and slow-mo. Boom! Down he goes. Oh, she's got him with a kill switch to Freddy Krueger. La Llorona uh, is now going to get tossed out of the ring. Michael Myers took advantage of the situation at hand. And he succeeded. Right now, what a drop kick to Frankenstein's monster. And Frankenstein's monster going to forearm Gandhi. My goodness. And he's going to put him up on the ropes here. Number 12, it's Victor Crowley, also known as Hatchet Face. And my goodness, Gandhi got tossed out of the ring. And now Frankenstein's monster going after Hatchet Face while Michael Myers is going after Freddy Krueger. And Ghostface is going to ignore Chucky. Uh, just kidding, he's not. Oh my goodness. All these horror icons going after each other. And out goes Chucky. Ghostface eliminated him. Now Ghostface and Freddy Krueger working on uh, Michael Myers together. But Michael Myers is still hanging on. He's still holding on. And he's protecting himself. And he's still in this match. And Chucky's going to the back. But who's coming out next? It's number 13. <laughs> Here comes Johnny. No, it's Jack Torrance coming in at number 13. A lot of times it's an unlucky number. Sometimes it's a lucky number. Sometimes you just got to find out for yourself. 
So here we go. We're going to find out today. Oh, Jack Torrance just got thrown into the ropes. But he's, he's back in this ring. Now for all the um, people that aren't savvy to the rules of a Royal Rumble match. Okay, someone just got eliminated. Michael Myers, to be exact. Everyone for themselves. It's every man for themselves. Only one can win. It's a battle royal. It's a Royal Rumble. If you don't like it, get over it and move on. Uh, it's not a tag team match. It's a uh, every there's one person wanting to win. There are only one. There can be only one winner of the Halloween Royal Rumble. All right. That's just how the rules work. Anyway, and and a lot of these horror flick characters so far are going to be upset that they they can't just help out their buddies. No, no, you can help until the very end. But but one person can win. This prestigious <laughs> Royal Rumble, okay? <laughs> the victory means that they are the best of this year. The victory means they are the best. All right, last year's best was different than this year's best, I'm, I assure you. But maybe last year's winner will go on to face this year's winner in an in a, in a upcoming project. Stay tuned. But anyway... We have Pamela Voorhees in here and Pinhead in here. We got a couple of new faces. Uh, Pamela Voorhees may be here to avenge her son's elimination. Going straight after Victor Crowley. Okay, but number 16, Creepy Pasta's own Jeff the Killer. And Jeff the Killer is here. All right. Uh, he's going straight after Freddy Krueger. My goodness. Uh, all right, and Pamela wanted to take a shot at Freddie. Well, Je Jeff, real quick. And oh, oh, Pamela, Pamela getting out of it, telling him who the. Uh, also, another female has entered the men's Royal Rumble. We have had two so far. But we will have an all women's Royal Rumble as well today on Halloween. On Halloween's Eve. Maybe. Maybe this is in the past and it's coming out in the future. And in the future, somehow, All Hallows Eve Royal Rumble will be in the past. Anyway, Jeff the Killer was just eliminated. I mean, he's, he's, I mean, come on. Compared to these folk, he don't stand a chance. But oh my goodness, Tombstone Pile Driver! to Freddy Krueger by Pinhead. My goodness, that is quite the that is quite the imagination if you had Pinhead versus Freddy Krueger. My gosh, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? But anyway, here comes someone that should have been eliminated a long time ago. It's Ghostface. Because, I mean, you don't... I mean, really? And out goes Jack, Jack Torrance. There goes Johnny. Just got eliminated. But anyway, my goodness. My goodness. Frankenstein's monster has probably been in this match the longest. And he, he's pretty much held, 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 he has held his own in this match so far. So far, so good for Frankenstein's monster. Just showing everybody that he is the OG. And oh my goodness. Number 17 is Freddy Fazbear. Five nights at Freddy's. I just don't get it. All right. But anyways, Pamela Voorhees is hanging on for dear life, but she's still in it. And Freddy got thrown over the ropes by Freddy. Freddy is trying to eliminate Freddy. Can Freddy succeed? But which one am I talking about? Uh, anyway, uh, coming out next at number 18, it's Art the Clown. Are you terrified yet? I'm excited. And all right, Art the Clown has entered the ring. He's going straight after the Cento bite. He's going to throw him into a oh, leg sweep. Oh, and drop kick to Pamela. Freddy's going to try to use that for uh, later. But, oh, speaking of Freddy, he's going into a UFO. Oh, my goodness. Art the Clown just sent him spinning. But Frankenstein's monster hits Art with a power slam. And Freddy with a form to the face of Frankenstein's monster and a oh knee to the face of the Cento bite. That is Pinhead. 
and oh my god, this is what I needed the guy. And Ash Williams has come after Freddy Krueger, but Victor Corrales said, nah, -uh, I heard of this guy. I ain't dealing with that. So he went after him immediately. Okay, and Freddy. And Freddy. Which one? Freddy in trouble. Freddy's trying to succeed. But which one am I, which one am I trying to talk about? <laughs> if you can see with your eyes, you'll look and you'll see which one I'm talking about. Freddy succeeded to get out of harm's way, but Freddy failed to, to not get out of Art's way. Arm's way. Uh, anyway, Art was lighting him up. and going to hit him with a... Oh my goodness, Art the Clown's crazy. Uh, but he's beautiful. And right now, Freddy was getting a butt kicking by Pamela Voorhees. And out goes Victor Crowley, eliminated by... Oh my goodness, down... There's a lot of... A lot of motion and a lot of commotion right now. A lot of action. You just can't commentate at all by yourself. But, but yet I'm here. And yet I'm doing it. Happy Halloween, Mother Truckers. Now, what's your favorite Halloween candy? In the comments right now, if you made it this far, I'll know you're a real, I'll know, I will know you are a real one. And you timestamp right here, right now. And say your favorite candy for Halloween is in the comments. And out went Pamela Voorhees. She's going to go home and, and kill some kids. Well, teenagers. Having, uh, you know. <laughs> Camp Crystal Lake. Go watch Friday the 13th, the first movie, and you'll find out. But anyway, what a chop to the face of Freddy. And Ash Williams puts Art in the corner. And, and Freddy is put on the ropes by, by the Pinhead. Oh, my. He's got him by the throat. He's going to raise some hail, and he's going to toss him out. My goodness, Freddy was just eliminated, but number 20, it's Albert Wesker, and oh my, oh my gosh, art is amazing. It's a work of art, but my goodness, Art the Clown is up on the arms of, oh, and down he goes on the shoulder, the shoulder into the knees of, you, you saw what happened, and now, uh, oh my goodness, what a splash, oh my goodness, he went for a knee, but it, it didn't quite make it. And Freddy's going to capitalize on it with a brain buster. Now this time I'm only talking about one Freddy on, and one Freddy only. And that's Freddy freaking Fazbear. Alright. Freddy freaking Fazbear. Yeah, say that five times fast. Try not to say the other word. Okay. Roy Burns, number 21. Oh, and there you go. Roy Burns. He is not Jason. He is a man that lost all hope. And he decided to go on a killing spree after the death of Jason. But anyway, Albert West grabs him up on the ropes, and he's gonna not gonna he's not gonna eliminate him. Roy has nothing left to lose, and he's trying to kill everybody. Uh, but anyway, Roy's back up, and Roy's going straight after Pinhead. But Pinhead said, "Who you call him, Pinhead, Larry?" And number twenty-two, it's Pennywise. What a power bomb to Albert Wesker. There's a lot of you see you hear you hear the commentary. I go from Albert Wesker to uh, Art the Clown to Pennywise the Dancing Clown to Freddy Fazbear to Roy Burns just got eliminated by Pen Pinhead and Ash Williams is still fighting Frankenstein's monster. You get my dilemma. You get my problem. I have a problem. But here we go and I have a good problem right here because what a, oh, what a leg sweep. Well, it was a chop block. He was trying to sweep Albert Wesker off, uh, well, off his leg, off of his foot, off of his feet. But anyway, Albert West, you're going to get thrown over the ropes. But maybe that's not going to work out for him because Art the Clown is going to get to work on him <laughs> and slaps him in the face for good measure. Good measure. And right now, Pennywise the Dancing Clown going... St oh, Pennywise versus Art. Here you go, folks. You all wanted to see it. We're all watching it. And Frankenstein's monster is going to intervene and break up the fight. And he's going to pick up Art the Clown. Oh, man. He's trying to... He's, uh, and he's out of there. He's eliminated. I am very sorry for that, folks. Frank... Uh, but number 23, it's Captain Spaulding. Thank goodness he is here. Oh, and he's going straight after Pennywise. He's like, you guys wanted to see a clown fight, but here you go. Oh, my goodness. It's a double DDT. My goodness, and now goes Frankenstein's monster. And what a DDT to, to Pinhead. And my goodness, he's grabbing him by the pins of his head, and I'm, I'm surprised that doesn't hurt him. But okay, 
Danny Wise trying to break his arm while Albert Wesker trying to do that to Ash Williams. Oh, he's got his hand. Oh my goodness, he's gonna knee him in the back. My, look at that. Pennywise hit him with a Hurricane Rana. He's gonna sh go straight after El. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Gonna throw him into the ropes. Gonna hit him with a pop up power bomb in number 24. It's Leatherface. My goodness. Okay, now he's got Freddy Fazbear up, but Freddy Fazbear knows how to rough someone up. He protected himself. And he's going to kick him in the gut and going to hit him with an execution. And it looks like Ash Williams was eliminated. My goodness, now Freddy Fazbear going after Leatherface. Going to throw him into the ropes. Pick him up for it. Powerbomb. My goodness gracious. And coming out next, it's number 25. It's who let him in the building. It's Mike Wheeler. Oh, and Leatherface was just eliminated. And I'll think. Thank you, Freddy. Taking out Mike Wheeler. But Mike Wheeler's back up and Spalding. Gonna help a brother out and gonna toss Freddy Fazbear onto the ropes. Uh, oh my goodness, but Pinhead tried to eliminate Spalding. Captain Spalding, oh my goodness. He's attempting to do it some more. Right now, Mike Wheeler somehow has the upper hand on Albert Wesker. But Pennywise said, not so fast, brother. You're going down. But now, oh, down goes Albert Wesker. Now, Freddy gonna hit him with a DDT. Spalding is still in it. And coming out next in five, four, three, two, one. It's Hannibal Lecter at number 26. Who is he gonna eat today? <laughs> Please don't don't hurt me. Alright, but now uh, um okay, he's like, yeah, yeah, I want a piece of this man. He's going to hell right where I'm gonna take him. And it's a double choke slam! To Hannibal Lecter. But now he's gonna go straight well back after uh, Mike Wheeler. Mike Wheeler has many enemies here, including myself. So here we go, and it's a double Russian leg sweep, and Albert Wesker was just eliminated. And uh oh, Hannibal Lecter just got eliminated by Freddy Fazbear. And oh my goodness, Freddy going after Pennywise. And number 27, it's the Slender Man. I remember he used to scare me as a kid, and many kids alike. But then I became an adult. <laughs> and I'm still scared and I piss my pants around him. So please don't come near me. Hannibal Lecter, what, back up! I got a gun! That's right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not in the building. Are you crazy? You think I'm here? <laughs> you think I'm here? No. Oh, and out goes Mike Wheeler just eliminated. Okay, here we go. And thank goodness Mike Wheeler didn't win this Royal Rumble, am I right? Screw you. Terrible boyfriend. Terrible boyfriend to 11. I mean, never defending her? What are you doing, brother? What are you doing? And out goes Freddy Fazbear, but coming in to replace him is Rick Grimes. I am sorry. I am sorry. For my five, night at, five nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's fans. And oh, Spalding was just eliminated. Captain Spalding was just eliminated by Rick Grimes. And he said enough. And he's going to hit him with a lariat. And Rick's going to throw some hands on top of that face. He's punching him in the face. And I think he busted him open. I think Pennywise is bleeding. I think he cut his forehead open. I think he's bleeding. He's gushing out blood. And oh my goodness. He's going to hit him with a drop kick. And number 29, Count Dracula. Oh my goodness. He came out just in time. Because Pennywise is bleeding. He might want to get a drink. He might be thirsty. But right now, Pennywise is in trouble by the Slender Man. Slender Man trying to eliminate him. But can he do it? He's attempting. Pennywise is holding on. Nine. Eight. Who's going to be number 36? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. It's Eric Draven. The Crow. Which one? Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness it's 1994. It's the only one. It's the only one that exists and the only one that matters. So anyway, he is here. And he went after Pinhead. He's a little... Uh, okay, yep, yep, yep. Uh, but it looks like 
<laughs> Panhead's gonna end up with a leg drop to the arm. But anyway, I'm just glad to see he's in this rumble. But right now, we gotta focus on the actual action here. And Rick Grimes is attempting to eliminate Enderman, the Slender Man. Oh my god. He's not an Enderman. But we need. Well, that would have been a good one to put in this rumble if it was scary. I don't know, though. Never look at Enderman in the eye. Uh, that, 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 that's when it is scary. But anyway. Slender Man in trouble by Rick Grimes. But oh, looks like. Looks like Eric Draven going straight after... Oh, but no, Pennywise has a bone to pick with him. He's going to hit him. Oh, my goodness. On his neck. But Eric Draven is resilient. But he's going to get thrown over the ropes. Nope, never mind. He caught himself. And Pennywise comes for the save. But Rick Grimes wants a piece of Eric Draven. What's that about? Well, I'll tell you what it's about. Every man for himself. All right, the only way to win. Oh, my goodness. And Eric Draven just eliminated Rick Grimes. Rick, it ain't like it was before. I guess. But what a DDT to Pinhead. And Pennywise is in trouble. Eric Draven attempting to eliminate him. Can he do so? Can he, can he do it like so? Can he eliminate this clown? I don't think so. Because it, didn't, it just didn't happen. I, he got out of it. But Eric Draven going to throw him over to the corner. But, oh, my goodness, Dracula wants a piece of Pennywise. I, I don't think he had to. A, I thought if you probably would have said, hey, let's try to eliminate him together, he probably would have would have agreed. But um, he wanted him for himself. I mean, there is blood pouring out of Pennywise's skull. Vampire. Like, I get it. He, he was thirsty. He, he, it was it was the blood. It was the it was the hunger, th the thirst talking. But anyway, Slenderman is in trouble, but he, but he's still in it. He is no longer in trouble. Maybe, but uh oh uh oh oh, Dracula just got uh foiled. His plan was foiled. But oh, looks like Pennywise is going to save. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna save Eric Draven. Maybe that was payback for what happened earlier. But what a Pele kick by Eric Draven. Oh, what a clothesline, Eric. Man, there's a lot of action here. Oh, what a big boot to Pennywise. My goodness. Oh, he was going to go for the choke slam, but he's going to get hit with the kick. Well, he's going to get kicked in the back. But then Slenderman throws him over the ropes. He's skinning the cat. That's what it's called, but he's still in it. He held on strong. Oh, my. But he's picking him up by the head and a forearm to the face. Oh, my. Drop kick out of nowhere. Uh, it's all happening so fast. I can't. You just, you just can't commentate it all by yourself. But I am, cause I'm doing it right now. <laughs> but anyway, Eric Draven, has got him, but he's getting an elbow to the gut, and and then another elbow to the gut. But then Slenderman, gonna pick him up with a ripcord knee, and he was pointing to the sky for all the fans to love him. But anyway, DDT to Pinhead. My goodness, you can see the blood on the mat. It's getting all over the place. And as you can see, oh, leg sweep to Eric Draven. But now, form to the back. Pinhead's going over the ropes. Pennywise gonna pick him up for a neck breaker and he's eliminated. His feet touched the floor, both of them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, stomps to the gut. Did I ever explain to you how you get eliminated? I guess it's too late. Uh, both feet have to touch the floor and you have to go over the top rope. That's how that works. But anyway, suplex to Eric Draven. I can color up a tie up. Pennywise is going to drag Slenderman to the corner, bounces his face off the turnbuckle. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a mood stop from Dracula. Look at that. That was so good. So crazy. So, uh, impressive. Oh man, and now he's just. Oh, oh, Eric Draven defending himself. He's going to throw him into the corner. Oh, but an elbow to the face. Oh, and he hits Slenderman in the crossfire. Wow, he wants a piece of Slenderman. He, he changed uh, targets real quick. But, oh, he just, wait, well, he just spit in his face. And he's going to, oh, punch kick him in the skull. Oh, my gosh. And he picked Eric Draven up. He's going to throw Eric Draven over the ropes. That could be bad. And, oh, Eric Draven. Kicked him in the face. I don't know how he's still in this match. My goodness, it just all happened so fast. Eric Draven has, has Dracula. Oh my goodness, he's got him up on his shoulders. 
And he's gonna toss Dracula out of the ring. My gosh, what a comeback. I didn't see that coming. Literally, I thought he was about to get eliminated. But but he, he shut me up and, and proved me wrong and proved all the haters wrong. And out went Pennywise. And now we're down to two. Slenderman and Eric Draven. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, place your bets down below. What a big boot to the face. It's not looking good. Oh, but Eric Draven can defend himself. You saw how he took out all those men in the crow. Maybe he could do the same to Slenderman. My goodness, he's sizing him up, picking up Slenderman. Oh my, he's got him up by the ropes. He's sizing him up, and out goes Slenderman! Eric Draven just won the Halloween Royal Rumble. My goodness, dude. <laughs> what a Halloween Royal Rumble. This just means Eric Draven will be taking on last year's winner. Tonight! Happy Halloween, everybody. Peace.